given out of the guy who is the head of the guy of my life. The one guy who created everything in the universe. The one guy who created everything equally. But unfortunately, man has other plans and does not treat one another equally. But we know in the final analysis, God will be victorious. Amen? Amen. Let's all give God a hand. Governments, 
that is set on educational systems, banking systems, financial systems, uh, uh, news systems, and whatnot. That's what we're talking about. And so the majority of the Klan, which is subjected to white supremacy, we are under their damaged perception. Their damaged perception. Their damaged reality. Both their damaged perception and their damaged reality that comes from the sick pathological mind that I am better because I'm white. Because I'm white, I can invade any country that I want and steal the natural resources and make me give God a hand clap if you feel I can do that. Not because I'm obeying the will of God. Not because I'm feeding the hungry and clothing the naked and helping the downtrodden and lifting up the oppressed. But simply because I'm white, that makes me right. White makes me better. White gives me the right to kill Trayvon. White gives me the right to take over the city of Detroit. I, I hope I don't offend anyone, but we need to talk. Because I'm white, it gives me the right to say that you had the city of Detroit in African American hands for 30 years, 40 years. And look at what you Negroes did with it. But what about the tentacles and the institutions of white supremacy that was always in the that was always mischief making, that was always controlling Detroit from the outside? The political, the social, the economic, the educational, the environmental, the moral, the medical, the psychological, the system of jurisprudence that we're subjected to. So we never fully had Detroit.